Most people want to get their work done as quickly and efficiently as possible. One of the best ways to do this is by using the context-sensitive pop-ups that you see anytime you click on a face or feature. SOLIDWORKS is good at knowing what tools you need and when you need them. You can quickly click on a face and start a new sketch right from the pop-up. The next step is to create some geometry. But rather than moving the mouse across the screen to access the sketch tools, it's faster to use the shortcut menus by pressing the S key on your keyboard. Since we are in a sketch here, all of the sketch tools appear making it easy to sketch geometry and add dimensions. Once you get used to using the shortcut menu, you'll find that you rarely need to move the mouse up to the standard toolbars to find what you're looking for. Again, this menu is context sensitive, so relevant tools are always at your fingertips. If there are any commands that you use often, but don't automatically pop up in the shortcut bar, all you have to do is add them. Press S to open the shortcut menu, right-click on it, and press Customize. This shows you all of the commands in SOLIDWORKS, and you can simply drag and drop the tools you want to add or remove. The shortcut menu definitely saves some mouse travel, but remember, you can always right-click to access the same tools, as well as some additional options. Some users even prefer to right-click since SOLIDWORKS shows a text description of each command so you don't have to remember the difference between the icons for things like center point arcs or three point arcs. Another efficient way to launch commands is through mouse gestures. If you hold the right mouse button and move the mouse slightly, you'll see a wheel with different icons appear and you can activate a command simply by moving your mouse over it. Again, the available commands will change based on what SOLIDWORKS mode you're in and are all completely customizable. Finally, if there's something you need from the drop-down menus, you can reveal them by pressing the Alt key. Now, you may also know that most Windows programs let you navigate drop-down menus like this with your keyboard. Just look for the underlined character and press it, like I for Insert and B for Boss Base. And then from that menu, I could press E on the keyboard to launch the extrude command. You can launch any command this way without ever moving the mouse. By using context-sensitive toolbars in conjunction with the shortcut bar, mouse gestures, and your keyboard to enter values and exit features, you can minimize mouse movement and even shave off a few little steps along the way. Thank you. This has been a SOLIDWORKS Time Saver.